Hi there, PC Pals. Welcome back to the PC Pal, your go-to channel for all things tech. If you're looking to temporarily disable Windows Defender for a specific reason, like testing software or using a third-party antivirus, you've come to the right place. Today, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to safely turn off Windows Defender. Before we begin, everyone should know, Windows Defender is an essential tool that helps protect your PC from viruses and threats. Make sure you have a good reason to disable it, and remember to turn it back on WH. First, let's open Windows Security. You can find it by typing Windows Security in the search bar at the bottom left of your screen. Click on the Start menu. Type Windows Security and select the app from the search result. Here's the part you've been waiting for. To disable Windows Defender, you need to toggle off Real-Time Protection. Under the Manage Settings section, locate Real-Time Protection. Toggle the switch off. A pop-up might appear asking for confirmation. Click Yes to proceed. And that's it. Windows Defender is now disabled. Keep in mind, this is a temporary setting, and it will turn back on automatically after a reboot. Then if you're looking to permanently disable Windows Defender, you'll need to modify your system settings using Group Policy Editor or the Registry Editor. This method is a bit advanced, so proceed with caution. Type gpedit.msc into the search bar and open the Group Policy Editor. Navigate to Administrative Templates, Windows Components, Microsoft Defender Antivirus. Double-click on Turn Off Microsoft Defender Antivirus and enable it. And there you have it. Now you know how to temporarily or permanently turn off Windows Defender. Just remember, leaving your system unprotected can be risky. So only do this if you really need to, and don't forget to re-enable protection when you're done. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with more PC tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on the PC Pal.